increasing and decreasing annuities so annuity is payable annually in advance for a term of 20 years the payment is 500 in year 1 550 in year 2 and so on increasing by 50 each year calculate the present value of this annuity assuming an effective rate of interest to be 5% per annum for the first 12 years and 12% thereafter so this is increasing annuity first of all for increasing annuities we need to learn how to write the increase uh, we'll write the increasing factors and store the shortcuts for them so first let's write the increasing factors so it is i a and then dd dot for annuity due brackets close underscore 12 and this 12 again back left arrow key put the 12 in brackets backslash bar and a pipe sign so this is how you write i a don't write 12 write n please so once we write i a n we'll now save this as new equation so save as new equation whatever the name is uh, category we'll create as are uh, already is created it's not showing here so actuarial is the category building blocks insert content only which is very important and press okay so this is now saved and similarly we'll do for i a n so that is very normal i a underscore n now come to this backslash bar and brackets close pipe close so this is my i a n i'll save this also as new equation save as new equation this will come in actuarial insert content only which is very important and save so these are the two main things which we have to do in this chapter so we save the we'll do also for the continuous one also do it i i a bar underscore n and back arrow key again bar double space and close so this is for continuous and we'll save this also now save as new equation again category should be actuarial and insert contents only and press okay now if you want we have to create shortcuts for all of these so we'll create shortcuts options customize ribbon customize in customize go to building blocks in buildings blocks so this is i a d u this i'll press as alt shift d assign next is this one which i'll write alt shift e assign and then is the continuous one alt shift f okay you should remember what shortcuts you are assigning keep on writing it in your copy what shortcuts you are saying so that in exam you don't have to refer back to each of these now we can start doing our question 1 which says i'll just keep the size same so you have to calculate the present value of these payments so present value will be equal to 450 now a due 12 because 450 uh, it is paid increasing for a term of 20 years but for first 12 years it is 5% so for a due my shortcut was all shift a and this has to be 12 and this 12 was at the rate of 5% right plus 50 I A D U now I A D U we just saved as all shift D I A D U and this is for again twelve okay and at the rate five percent plus we have V to the part twelve which is at the rate five percent and the next part is again we'll just copy these portions so that it makes our work easier we'll just change the ness keep the the we'll change the necessary portions so this is now after 12 years becomes 1050 at the rate 7% and this is again 50 ia due and this is also changing the for the remaining years now remaining years is 8 year also the remaining years is 8 just keep on changing and you will see this is done okay and then alt equals to this becomes equals to once you calculate the values for a due 12 and so on you can just put in the values here 
so uh, substituting 450 into 9.363064 plus 15 to 55.1117 plus 0 0.55684 into 1 0 0.50 in into 6.3893 plus 15 to 26.4935 so this is how you complete after calculating so this now is equal to 11417 so this is the complete answer for question 1 for question 2 you need to start on a new page for every question remember you need to start on a new page so question 2 assuming an interest rate of 6% per annum effective calculate the present value of on 1st January 2020 of the following annuities each of the term of 25 years an annuity payable annually where the first payment is 3000 made on 1st January 2021 and the Payments increased by 500 on each subsequent 1st January. So, this we have to uh, calculate. First, so present first part present value equals to alt equals to 2500. It's payable in arrears, so all shift B and payable for 25 years. And again increasing, make sure you don't write it there, plus 500 and then in, you have to do your increasing factor which is all, sh all shift E which is my earlier ones and again this also for 25 years. Okay and then all T equals to you can use the values from the tables to so 2500 into 12.7834 plus 500 into 128.7565 okay and equals to 96337 so these are the values you are there next part an annuity Achha, this is one part A and the next was one part B so name numbering should be correct for the questions Make sure numbering you are doing correctly. Uh, and as an annuity in part 1, but only decrease increases are to be, only 10 increases are to be made. The annuity then remaining level for the remainder of the term. Only 10 increases are to be made. So, all present, present value is equals to all t equals to. We will just copy this equation. Makes our work easier. So, 2500. Now, this will only increase 11 times. Uh, this will remain 25 sorry because it's a uh, level annuity the increases will be made only for 10 times and since we have decreased one and plus we have 5500 v to the power 11 and a so that is all shift v this rem this goes for the remaining 14 years okay so for the remaining 14 years this is the value you write 2500 into 12.7834 plus 500 into 42.7571 and plus 5500 into 9.2 2950 into 1.06 to the power minus 11 ok and solving this we get the value of 8268 and next part is an investor is to receive a special annual annuity for a term of 10 years in which payments are increased by 5% compound each year to allow for inflation 
the first payment is to be thousand on first November two thousand twenty one. Calculate the accumulated value of the annuity payments as at thirty first October two thousand thirty eight. If the investor achieves an interest rate of four percent per half year, so we need to calculate the accumulated value. So accumulated value or equals to if you see the accumulated value becomes thousand into one point zero four to the power thirty four. Plus thousand into one point zero five to the power into one point zero four to the power thirty two plus dot 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 plus thousand into one point zero five to the power nine into one point zero four to the power sixteen. So these are the increases which have been made. If you want, you can. Remove these brackets if you want. Otherwise, this is okay. Then tab this is equals to. If we see, this becomes an AP series. So now this is become straight thousand into one point zero four to the power thirty four, which we take common into. This is a GP series. So one minus one point zero five into one point zero four minus to the power minus two. All brackets close to the power ten divided by one minus one point zero five into one point zero four. Okay, so this is there. Once you calculate this, this value comes to three 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 two four. Okay, so this is how you make this geometric progression. Clear? So just Time taking is writing these. Once you write and save this, you know your shortcuts. You can just insert your shortcuts, change the n value, and normal calculator calculations are there. There. Okay. Thank you.